the infamous here and yes 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 i am back already you guys with another makeup tutorial and get used to it because the videos will be rolling in i am going to be doing a why i left youtube video for you guys so that i can finally fill you guys in on something i've been needing to talk to you guys about and let you in on so you kind of know why i kind of disappeared from youtube but there will be no more of that and today we are going to be doing this red smoky eye it is so funny because i had this t-shirt that i wanted to style this look around and it completely did not work out you guys so my boyfriend and i are going out tonight so that's another reason that i got all dressed up and ready to go and oh yes girl like i told you in the last video i am still getting faith evan vibes my hair is from princess hair plug it is a 20 inch frontal and two 22 inch brazilian bundles so make sure to check them out and there is a discount code below for you guys so i think that is it i'm gonna just go ahead and hop into it you guys make sure to subscribe to my channel right now subscribe because i will be doing a lot of videos that you do not want to miss and turn on that little notification bell so you get the notifications from me so you guys i love you guys and i'll see you soon Hey love, so I already have my brows on. We are going to be doing our eyes first because yes, you guys know we are going to be playing with reds and anytime you're doing red, it's going to get everywhere and it's going to be hard to clean up the fallout. So definitely make sure you're starting your eyes first. For this look, I'm going to use my MAC 24 hour extend eyeshadow base. So I'm going to go into my Carity Matte palette. And this is, we're going to be trying to use some of the reds in here. Well, the red in here. But I'm just going to take this eyeshadow for my highlight. Because I just feel like doing all matte, mostly. So we're just going to go ahead and start with the Sugar Peel Pressed Eyeshadow in Love Plus. It looks like this. And I absolutely love, love, love red eyeshadow, you guys. So I got this when I came across it because I was like, people just are not coming out with red eyeshadows. So I've never used this brand for eyeshadows nor this shadow at all. So I'm just going to start slow so I can kind of see how it blends and what the coverage is. Oh, see, this one is not blending good, actually. This is actually blending really bad. So the shadow builds well, but it just, like right here, I'm trying to get this to blend out. And it just, the shadow just doesn't want to go there, so... Oh my gosh, you guys, that color is so frustrating. I'm just blending and blending and blending my life away and it's not doing anything. So I'm going to take the MAC pigment. Truthfully, to start out, you just want to take what's in the cap because this pigment, this color is super strong. So I'm just going to kind of play around with this, see how this looks in the crease a little bit because we have to do something about this red color up here. So I did this Eye on American Beauty Star for the Icon Challenge. So I made my girl into like a female version of Jimi Hendrix and kind of, and what was it mixed with? Mixed with Jimi Hendrix and, oh, and Billie Holiday. And I just absolutely knew I wanted to pull out this red pigment when I was on there. So I was really happy to do like a red statement eye. Cause you know, people don't really do red statement eyes. And I'm just going to begin packing this on. Two twenty one Mac brush, it's much smaller. 
and that can give me a good blur effect. And then look, it's picking up some of the product, which is great so that it just kind of is more soft. Blur out this harsh line. Like we do not want these harsh lines on our inner corner. Okay, so another little trick is you just can take a matte nude. I'm just going to take the same exact color and already that turned the brush pink. And that's exactly what we want. We want to kind of lighten up that red. So start on the outer sides so that you can test it and see what color it's going to turn. And then you can move to the inner corner a little more. And see that diffuses it. So I'm going to take Brick Lip Liner by MAC. And I already tested this for you guys on the wet line. It performed completely fine. But of course, you know, this is not intended for the eyes. So do this step at your own risk. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So now at the bottom, I'm going to use the Benefit Stay Don't Stray primer, which I love this at the bottom. Sometimes I love it at the top if I'm doing something a little more natural, but at the bottom, you just apply it so quick, like literally with one swipe. And we're going to start on the outside so that the inside isn't too heavy because look how far a little touch of that color goes all along the bottom. And I like to start with just one soft color of that because then you can blend out the bottom here and get that really nice and smoky and really light. And notice I'm not going all the way to the inner corner yet. So now we wanna take our small angle brush and now we're just going to stamp this starting on the outside right along the lash line. Okay, so to get even more dimension, I just took a little bit of this and put it on the lid. And now you can see, because I guess this one's a little lighter, it's like a lighter red and then a deeper kind of crease. And I went ahead and cleaned up one last time, but I'm going to take the MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. Even if you have a moisturizer, anything, put it right back under there. Or, you know, if you like rubbed on your cheeks right here, just, Put that moisture back. Now we're moving on to skin. My professional pearl primer, which is amazing, you guys. I tried it for the first time on my, val my last Valentine's Day video. Prevented the creasing for my foundation in my forehead and underneath my eyes. So we are doing the Fenty Beauty in number 260 and the Estee Lauder Double Wear in Tawny. My favorite duo for contouring, it is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and the MAC Studio Quick Trick Stick. For some reason when I'm blending this out, it just takes so long to blend out. So that's why I get this one, it's way more oily. And I just kind of put that on there to help this blend out a little bit. My box of chocolates from my last video were in here. And I'm like, why am I not eating these? So I'm taking this concealer that I just fallen back in love with. It 
So now we're taking the Patrick Star setting powder, which is super gorgeous on you guys. The only thing is that it does give me flashback. So you either wanna go really light with it, or I mix a little bit of the MAC Pro Set powder in soft yellow. And I finally learned the trick with this is not to do a ton of powder. I used to be like everyone else and you know, you wanna just pack it on under here. But what it actually does is dehydrate your under eye area. And that's why it's gonna kind of start looking dry and cracky. So I don't do as much now. And it still has the same great results for me. And I'm using my Mac Studio Fix in C4.5 now. I went up a half a shade and I love it. I'm just going to take my bronzer, which as you guys saw in my last video, I'm just using the Carity Peach Palette. And I found that this color actually works good for my bronzer, like for a base. So you guys let me know your favorite bronzers. I like something matte and you know, that has a decent coverage. I was looking at that YSL one. I think they have three shades. I wanted to go with that one. My boyfriend, as you guys know, got me the Huda Beauty Primer for my birthday. And now that that didn't work out, I'm going to take it back. And then, you know, I wanted to get something else. Now we're going to just smoke this out along the edges. Okay, so now I'm starting to round it out you can see the difference here, like the smallest amount. And then you start on the outer corner and you kind of pull down. These are the lashes I'm gonna go with because I want something kind of light and airy. You kind of want like faux mink or something like that. I do not know who sent these to me. They sent them to my P.O. box. The company name is not on here, but this is the style. I'm going to actually add Smolder in the wet line. I had to draw on some of my false lashes, as you guys know. I went to go get my lash extensions done and it went super duper bad. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys saw it all go down. So now I do not have lashes down there, so I have to kind of draw them and obviously I've never had to do this, so, you know, I'm gonna get better at it. But for now, that's what it's gonna be. I am so in love with Coco K by Kylie Cosmetics, you guys. But I'm gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which I've been loving. And I'm going to lighten it up a little bit with the NYX lingerie and cheekies. I am addicted to these NYX lingeries. And you wanna mix these together before they dry. Strip down, which this is my super tiny one that is just over here. Now for cheeks, we need something super muted. This one is gonna be Perfect by MAC, but I do not know what this one is called. I'll have it below. And I have been loving to use the Large Duo Fiber Brush for blush lately. Now you can see the lips are getting like a little bit cracky. So I'm gonna get a little bit more of this essential stick. It is time to highlight and I'm going to bring back an old school highlighter. Let me know in the comments if you remember this one. I was going through my collection looking for red shadows and I saw this. I wonder who knows what this is already. And I thought this was a blush, and then I opened it up, 
And I was like, oh my gosh, the old school. Yes, you guys, albatross. I cannot believe this. This is so funny, you guys. I literally forgot all about this highlighter. It's been, there's so many highlighters have came since, you know, this one was popular and the new it thing. So let's see if I still like it. Ooh. Oh, shoot, wait. Yeah, you can't build this one up like you can the ones nowadays or else it just kind of looks white. So this is, ooh, but you know what I like about this? It's more subtle, which I don't think any of us ever do anymore in highlighting. And it actually looks like a whitish light powder, which is interesting. Hmm. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. I cannot believe I used to rave about this and it barely like highlights anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you're looking for a natural highlight, this is totally beautiful. You guys know what I have to pull out. Bam, please you guys, please someone sell me theirs, please. I need glow getter in my life like, <sighs> It's just dwindling and I just can see it coming to an end. Oh my gosh, look at the difference. That is so funny. Okay, you guys, and I'm going to put on my CoverGirl Look Lockup. I really love this and it smells like a fresh bouquet of flowers. Oh my goodness. Oh. I am going to be putting my outfit together and I will show you guys the finished look. And this is from Dolls Kill by Poster Girl. Oh, I love this tee. It is in a size small. I, it looks a little tiny. So I don't know if I may not be able to wear a bra under here because my boobs are so big. And if I have a bra, it may just be busting out the shirt. So we'll see. But yep, see you guys soon. Oh, and I'm gonna put on my wig. Hey loves, it is about two hours later. Yes, I have. Okay, for one, you guys, that that shirt was horrible. Let me just say it does not have any stretch. So you guys could just imagine how it looked on me. So I had to go to plan B, which is this outfit. And on top of that, my boyfriend made dinner for us. So we have eaten and everything. So I am back. I hope everything still looks good. I'm not gonna do a full look like as a photo shoot because it is sheer. So I can't go in front of the super bright lights where I usually like show my full length outfit. But the details for this jumpsuit will be on my Instagram page. So if you guys have not checked it out, make sure to go and like that. And yes, this is the final look you guys. I hope you enjoyed my second Valentine's Day makeup tutorial and hopefully it gave you some inspo. Oh, and how am I just going to pass up the details on my wig? If you guys did not know, I launched my hairline in November and it has been doing great. You guys are loving it and I'm so happy. So the cool thing about my line is that it is affordable. 7a and 9a hair so you guys can click the link below to shop this is um a 20 inch brazilian frontal and 613 blonde as well as two 22 inch straight bundles so girl this frontal is just off the hook so make sure you guys go ahead and get your bundles oh my gosh i am in love with this frontal i showed you guys how i glued down my wig so check that video out too you guys I don't want this video to be super long and I will be back soon, okay? Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.